All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to create an animation based on when your battery is charging. Right now, I'm on my battery, but if I charge my phone, I will have some animations that come in, and then I have this little green pulse. The green pulse is no different than what I did back here on my KOWP Complex Animation Tutorial number four, Pulse. It's this exact same circle, except I have shifted it down a little bit, but the coding to get it to animate properly is a little bit different here. So let me go ahead and show that to you one more time before we dive into the tutorial. Now I'm back on battery, the animations go away. And now I'm charging and as you can see, the animations are coming back in. So let's go ahead and go into KOWP and have a look. So now that we're inside of KOWP, the complex circle animation is the pulse one. I'll show you that one first because what we want to happen here is we only want that to happen one time and one time only. We don't want it looping. And you may have seen that on some Samsung devices when you plug your device in, it will have that one little pulse and then it does nothing else, just to show you that you did plug it in. So this is the same, uh, same thing again as the pulse animation that I did. However, there's one little piece different and that is going to be the following. It, I, the tutorial, I covered all these different entries right here, but the only thing I'm doing different is I'm reacting on a formula. I'm no longer looping, whereas in that previous tutorial, I did this little loop right here, and there's that little circle. And I did mention, let me show you that real quick, I did mention that I shifted it down a little bit, so my Y offset <clears throat> excuse me, has changed a little bit. But inside of the complex animation, the, uh, I don't have a loop set anymore. I have it set to formula and here is the formula. And you're pretty much gonna use this formula for all of them except you may change uh, something over here on the end. Sorry if you can hear the leaf blower in the background, but nonetheless, here we go. So if our battery source, this is the BI battery info. And if we go to the battery info function right here, BI source, you can get a whole bunch of different things depending on how you're charging your device. But basically, I want to see this animation whenever the battery source is not equal to battery, whether it be AC, USB, or wireless. As long as if battery is not, if the BI source rather is not equal to battery, then I want to animate this thing forward. Otherwise, I want to reset it. Resetting it's always going to make it pulse out every time you charge your device. So that's the code for that. And then there's nothing else really different about that animation as of what I did in the previous tutorial. Now for the other ones, let's look at this battery bar. This is one of the components that are pre-built into KOWP when you download it from the Play Store. So the battery bar over at its animation, I have it set to simply fade in, but it's fading in based on a formula. That formula is going to be the following. It's the exact same thing, except now instead of uh, resetting, I want it to fade back out. So I don't want it just to disappear and pop off. I'd rather have a smooth animation off the screen. So it's the same code. If my, ba my battery source or my power source is not equal to battery, if it's anything other than battery, I want to fade it in. Otherwise, I want to fade it out. All right, I had to stop the video there for a second. The leaf blower is right at the back door nearby out. But uh, as I mentioned, that code, it's, uh, it's fading in if it's not equal to battery. That means it's going to be equal to USB, AC, or uh, wireless charging. And then if, it's, if it is equal to battery, I want it to fade back out. And the reason why I have it fading in and fading out is my action is set to fade in. And all of these other ones are pretty much the same. Let's, let me show you a couple of these, or let me show you one of these uh, circles. The green circle that you see right there. If I go over to its animation, it is two animations now. The complex animation here is just what I have set up. I've done some tutorials on complex animations. That's not what this video is about, but feel free to pause the video here. And this is what I have going on. I have it, you know, fading in. Um, and then I have it kind of going back and forth, back and forth by changing the X offset. And then I also have the Y offset at the end. That's what's making it go up. And it kind of, as long as you set these things to normal instead of straight, it kind of gives it a somewhat of a smooth, you know, S pattern, a snake pattern as it goes up towards that battery bar logo that I showed you a moment ago. But that's not what's making the thing fade in and fade out. That's why we have to use two animations here. So the formula here for the other one is I want this green circle and all of these circles rather, I want all of these circles to fade in only when the battery source or the source 
is not equal to battery. And that's that exact same code there. So if BI source is not equal to battery, I want to fade it in. Otherwise, I want to fade it out. That's what that one and that zero stand for there. As you can see, I have it set to fade in. And then the other two, they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, but all I did there was I went in and tweaked the complex animations a little bit just to kind of have them some slight different uh, pattern in which they S through the animation. It's nothing fancy here. But uh, if I go to that complex animation, if you look at these entries here, there's slightly different uh, entries. I still have them fading in. I still have them sliding uh, the Y offset. I have it going up and I have the X offsets slightly different here as you can see there. So pause the video and check those out if you want to. And then some other things to mention too, I am changing the duration of each one. That way we have them popping in and popping out at different times. So it gives, them, gives it somewhat of a randomness by us changing the entries and changing the duration. But uh, give that a test. Uh, and like I said, you know, there's two different ones going on here. One of them is the pulse that only pulses one time when you charge a device. And then we have this one here what, that will constantly show until you do unplug or uncharge your device, if that makes sense. And there you have it. That's how you can get an animation based on whether you're charging your battery or not. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.